Hello, I'm John Pinto, and I'm going to be presenting Dominique Prenet's course on celestial navigation. Today's episode is going to be about the sextant, its history and principle. This presentation follows Dominique's book, Celestial Navigation, uh, which you can find more information about at marinenavigationbooks.com. Uh, there you'll find uh, how you can order Dominique's books and also download resources, including this slide deck. Now, before time could be measured towards the end of the 18th century, navigation was typically done following latitude. And latitude was determined by a noon site and by evening and dawn sites on Polaris. The way this was measured in the past, a long time ago, was with the cross staff, which would measure the angle between the sun and the horizon or between Polaris and the horizon. And as you can tell, this is probably not the safest thing to do. Um, and is probably the reason you saw pirates wearing eye patches. Eventually, somebody had the bright idea to develop the backstaff, where instead of looking directly at the sun, you would look at the shadow of the sun uh, on the staff, and uh, that would give you your, your angle. And then the Arabs had come up with the astrolabe, which did a very similar thing, plus many other calculations, astronomical calculations, navigational calculations uh, that it could do. It was sort of like a mini celestial navigation computer in some sense. And then the octant was invented, um, which allows you to measure uh, angles up to 90 degrees, uh, which for many uh, uh, applications is sufficient. Um, it uh, makes use of a principle which is also used in the next evolution of, of an angle measurer, the sextant. Let me just go back for a second. So <clears throat> it makes use of an optical principle that if you take a mirror and you um, twist it, turn it by say uh, 10 degrees, the actual angle it uh, measures is actually double that, 20 degrees. So even though it's only 45 degree uh, is here, it actually can measure twice that to 90 degrees. And a sextant, which is a little bit larger, it, it's measured 60 degrees, um, because of that double angle formula, uh, it can actually measure angles up to 120 degrees. Now, just basic principle is you're looking at some celestial body. Uh, its reflection bounces off what's called the index mirror here. And that transfers the image to what's called the horizon mirror, which then takes that reflection and puts it through the telescope into your eye. Now, at the same time, you're also looking at the horizon so that you can put the two images uh, right next to each other. And uh, here that's all laid out for you, the index mirror, the horizon mirror, and your eye in the telescope. And when you look through the telescope, this is what you will see on a split uh, mirror uh, sextant. There are other kinds of sextants, but this is the traditional kind, where your celestial body, in this case, say the sun, and then you have the horizon, your, your sea horizon. And your the idea is to have this bottom of the... Uh, of the object usually line up with the with the horizon here and once those two are lined up you have your angle that that body is above the horizon which is our goal with these uh, with these devices this is the angle you're trying to measure so besides the actual degree measurement which you read on the index arm here uh, you also have usually a micrometer drum which will give you the uh, minutes of a degree. So this gives you the full degrees. This gives you the minutes of the degree. And then there's a vernier uh, um, gauge here, a scale, uh, to even get you down to two tenths of a minute or sometimes even to a minute of, of, a, of an angle. Uh, sorry, a fraction of a, of a minute of an angle.
And that's it for this episode. This is a quick episode just to introduce you to the sextant. Uh, next episode, we're going to talk about some of the uh, adjustments you have to make to your sextant readings uh, so that you, they can be compared to the um, calculated uh, heights of the, of the objects that you're trying to observe. Thank you very much, and we will see you soon.